Hello everybody, my name's Negative Caleb and welcome to Gmod. So today I'll be demonstrating and playing around with the Back to the Future DeLorean from Symphonies. I think that's the name correctly pronounced. I don't know. But yeah. We we'll playing with the DeLorean around, messing with what I can do with it. Symphonies, yeah, that's how you say it, I think. Because it's got S I M F P H Y S. It's a weird way to spell it. There's DeLorean. Accurate build. DeLorean Part 2. From Back to the Future Part 2. DeLorean Type 2. Um, yeah. Sorry if you can hear static in the background. That's my uh, aircon going. The hot dog down where I'm living. Uh, just to look at it, it's only hit 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Wow. It's only just hit 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Now, the time that I've got going on the game, I've been playing the game for a while and I've been messing around with DeLorean, testing it before I started the video, because it's a new mod. Person created it. Um, from Simply created it. They've done a really nice job on the textures. I haven't finished yet, because they're still working on the flight mode. The frost over, where DeLorean comes out of the from time travel and it frosts over fixing a few bugs which I will point out later on but first off I'm using because I only, don't have any garbage I can put in there I've only got food so I can use fish fingers and custard Matt Smith there on the picture uh, Doctor Who I will be doing a Doctor Who themed video next Next time, where I'll be playing around with various different versions of the game. Now, as you can see, my skin on the reverse flash corresponds to my name, Negative Caleb, Negative Speed Force from the reverse flash, etc. etc. I think anyone would kind of clue on to that. Alright, F turns on the lights. You got default light and then you got high beam which is best to be used. I'm gonna alter the engine speed because damn this thing moves slowly to have to up the speed on this model. Alright. There it is. Oh, holding the buttons wrong. Oops. Whew. holding the buttons wrong. Uh, uh, time circuits on. I'm going to set it to December 25th, Christmas 2020 at 12 o'clock. And time circuit jump a number again. Right, try this again. Uh, yeah, it's all very quiet. Time circuit's changed. Good. I'm gonna be doing a little bit in this video. The upload mode. Now, DeLorean does use fuel. I'll explain that right now. Don't you start driving off, you damn thing. Keyboard's playing up today. Alright, first off, go to Symphonies. Go down here. I said, don't drive off. 
uh, you got the time circuit controls. You can alter this how much you like, depending on your keyboard you've got. You need to re-enter the vehicle in order to change, in order for the change to take effect. So you don't need to apply this. It automatically applies once my keyboard. There it is, it's responding in and out. Sorry if it's any of the epileptic people responding to the flashes. Keyboard's dropping out. Uh, yeah, symphonies. Right, the other thing is. Uh, no. No. Aha! This here, fuel tank size multiplier. Because it's at 0 0.01. Fuel goes down rapidly, right? Rapid, rapid. If it was at 1.00, it'd go down real slow. If it's at 0.00, it don't start. The car won't start. Even if the fuel tank's full, the car won't start. Sometimes the mod itself will play up, and the car will drive off by itself when you're sitting in it. Sometimes the car has a few minor bugs, but as you can see, even the tires have got detail on them. Wheels, correct. Now, these are the four bolt wheels, there are five bolts, but they used the four bolt for the movie car because it was the first model that came out. The first model DeLorean came out with four bolt. Modern day DeLoreans have five bolt option so you can change your wheels to any type of wheel you like as long as they fit the thing and our uh, steel wheels wheels might still just shred the car right cars um lug nuts and you get the exhaust in the mod is literally just where the thrusters are they're literally exhaust Saw that? No. Bang! The game's taking a second to load. What's happening? Daytime. Right. Let's put more stuff in the tank. Three, four, five. Need five bits of garbage or food. Go in there. Right, I'm going to change the time. Green one's telling me what time it is. So I'm going to go December 12th, or December 25th, 2020, 12, 25. Set the time. Alright, this gives me bigger stuff out. Give me time to get my mic control way up. And also to fix the car. Check it. Yep. Now I've got the game running at six seconds a minute. So every six seconds is a minute in the game. Right, get my controller. Out. Link it. I'm probably gonna try to do the Emmett Brown thing. And we're off. Six, seven. Oh, epic fail on that one. Epic fail. <laughs> My corpse twisted, fugly looking thing. All right, where's the little orange? Where is it? There it is. Got to get. Get out again. Pew! Right, this is a dumb thing to do a lot. Because you don't really know if the DeLorean's actually going to make it. And time travels before it hits you. 
at the speed that it's traveling at. Four, five, six, seven. Damn it! Because it was a minute late. Ah, oh, god damn it. I've got to try this again. Right, set the time. December 25th. Try that again. Twelve fifty five PM. Time. If my cat stops in here, get some stuff in the tank. Five. Check. Link it again. And every time the time travels, the link is broken. And go. Six. Seven. It's gone. Now this is a funny thing that I like doing. Between the fire trails. I'll grab an NPC, say, I'm going to do something funny this time. Going to have Marty McFly. Oh, and he stuffed it. Uh, no. I'll just have I'm running out of time. You can still see the lights, that's a bug. That's a bug with the um, DeLorean. And it time travels from mic control and you're waiting for it to reappear. You can still see the lights if they were on. Woe to all, for our dwelling place is distant, and we wander through the domiciles of chaos. If anyone understand what he's saying, please tell me. Because this guy just seems like he's a frickin' loony. So he's standing between the lights perfectly. I'm gonna get the way, because in... Um... Four... Three... Two... One... <laughs> Mac, where'd the gun go? Where did his gun go? There it is. Oh, there's evidence of the corpse. And my character's just wanting to step on him because it won't sit still. Yeah, get this out. There's no evidence of the killer. Now, I've showed you the manual driving it, the remote control driving it. Now I'm going to show you the bug with the flight mode. I'm just going to press W right now. It's still working on it, this is what happens when And I've released. My hands aren't touching anything. Now I'm going to press R. Alright. I'm going to show you a few other things. Tires do get deflated. They do burst. Lights can break. Windows are indestructible. Bodies can be destroyed. Parts don't fall off. The engine, which is sent right here, can catch fire if damaged enough. Can be repaired with the other gun thing that I had that looks like this one. I mean this one. 
and get it out first. So you need a wrench, symphonies, see? Repair it. Alright. Another cool thing is, I'm gonna load it back up. Two, three, four, five. You have a friend sitting in it, and you wanna freak them out. You set the time to a time that you're not standing there. Because this will actually throw you to a time that other players aren't standing. I've seen it. One of my friends plays with this mod, with his mates, and he. Uh, 10 minutes into the past, where his friends aren't standing there. You, I've tried this, you can't time travel back and see yourself. Physically, can't be done yet. But, he time travels back, waits till his friends spawn into the world. And then he kills the past versions of them. And then what goes back and his friends are just questioning what the fuck happened. But watch what happens if you have a friend sitting in it. Pick it up. Woof. Gone. No getting it back. See? It spaz out because it couldn't figure out where it was going. I sent it. Now I've just undone it, I'm going to get another one out because there's no getting that back when you do that. Right, next, you can paint it. They're still working on it, but anything that's black stays black. Anything that's silver will go to the colour you desire. Practically everything goes to the colour you desire. What? I'll go purple because my fa one of my favourite games characters is named Purple Guy. Five Nights at Freddy's. Now we've got a purple DeLorean. Or if you like bright colour. Orange. Or how about yellow? Oh, that looks more like a greeny. Here's a green. Or even red. Or if you're more like me, shadow, default, and then you got crystal white. Hard to tell, but it's white, not silver. Are any girls that like this color? Hey. There's also this factor. You can't change the material on it. I'm gonna use rust, and that's what happens. No matter what material you use on it, oh, don't look at that. That's an epileptic attack. <laughs> Oh, rainbow. There we go. Right, colors. <laughs> See, material won't just stay to one thing, it will shift the whole car itself. Now, there's another aspect. The car itself can be pushed by thrusters. It can, if it's in hover mode, can be towed around, but that's a pain. Because it will throw you around while you're towing it by another car. You can't move it while it's stationary. Literally you can't pull it by a car if the wheels are underground. You can't push it by a train unless you're sitting in the driver's seat. The car itself is practically wicked. If I got one of these together, even without the time travel stuff on it. I'd still be proud to drive a DeLorean around town and go, yep. The 
get to work and get to drive the DeLorean. But I reckon today that's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to leave this video off now. Hope you've enjoyed today's Back to the Future themed video. This is Negative Caleb, and I'll see you all in the next video.